2024 Mustang. In order for us to pull it out. That's what she said. At least 100 likes. Pulling it out isn't the easiest thing to do. I'm a little bit too small for this car, but it's definitely futuristic. It's pretty bad. Super duper ultra wide. You guys know your boy likes gaming. So this is like beyond 5120 by 1440. This is like... This is like 69420. It's ridiculously big. Before we pop this hood up in the front, we're gonna show you the controls here. We got set minus and set plus. I'm guessing this is for all the highway cruisers that like to not step on the gas for four hours long as they're cruising down the highway. And we got another up button here, down button here, over button here, and then another over button. And we got a volume up and volume down, but we all know that the, the down one never gets clicked. And then this right here, we have a I'm guessing this is like some futuristic full send mode. And then we also have a talk button for Alexa. Every time you say Alexa, then you're going to have some stupid Amazon thing that annoys you. This right here, we got a start engine. I should probably push it just to like attempt it, but I'm not going to do that because I got your boy has friends at this dealership, so he's not going to abuse that relationship. Forgot to say to like the video, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment. <laughs> Saying it just as much as you probably hate me saying it, but if I do not say it, like one percent of you will actually do it. Like, subscribe, leave a comment, all that good stuff. Anyways, we got a Mustang logo over there. It looks pretty cool. It almost looks like a spatula that you're flipping burgers with. We got the price up over there. See that right there? Three thousand bucks. That's how cheap this car is. It's super duper cheap. All leather. It smells really good in here. Ooh, look at that. We got more buttons. So this button right here is, I'm guessing. Ooh. Oh, you hear that, right? Oh, sh we got some like bad trap beats going on oh my god that's actually pretty cool so we need some girls shaking their butt right there and we'd be perfectly fine so let's see if we can figure out how to pop the hood don't tell me that's the trunk let's actually pop the trunk pop this that's actually pretty cool it's literally not even on and we got this futuristic AI laser beam shot Headlight right here, we got some like vent that probably doesn't do anything, but Lamborghini even does that, and those cars are like 300 grand. So, all right, let's, we figured out how to pop it in like 10 seconds, but now I gotta figure out how to actually pick it up. All right, I need a tip from the cameraman right now. Oh gosh, all right. Oh, um, shit, you don't even know. Oh my no. gosh, let's, let's, so I'm not the only one that, that doesn't understand how to do it. Oh wow, really? What was it? Was there a button or something? Um, it's the G-spot. Oh, the G-spot. There we go. There you go. This man knows what's up. Oh, it was right there. So there you go. You flip the thing right here. And that's underneath the hood. It's all, it's all nice and clean. Look at that. We got turbos. Please tell me those are turbos. Um, oh my god, what? I'll leave it to the imagination of the viewers. That has to be tur <laughs> Those are turbos, bro. Oh my god, it has... Is that a twin turbo? No way. Hold up, Glenn. My boy Glenn over here. Dude, I think we got some twin turbos going on up in there. Is that twin turbo? What are the two things in the front? Not turbo. Supercharger? Nope. Naturally aspirated. Naturally aspirated. Dude, I, I'm, I'm just being really, those look like turbos. Your boy's used to it, to Brian's twin turbo Huracan. But anyways, I'm gonna pretend those are twin turbos because it just makes me like, it, it would be a huge boner killer if they weren't actually turbos. So we got coilovers here, whatever the, ooh, we got dampening. Oh my God, it actually, you can actually adjust the dampening from the factory, that's pretty badass. This sway bar thing. But anyways, that's underneath the hood. I don't really know any of that stuff. You guys can use your imagination and possibly think of twin turbos down there as well. We got big wing, big GT wing. Nice, cinematic mode. We got over here, we got like, Pistons for those of you that blow your motor. Oh my god, we got a big subwoofer in the back. That's pretty cool, right? It's probably like a 10 inch subwoofer. But anyways, that's the trunk. You guys don't need to see more underneath the trunk. 5.0. Yeah. What do you guys think? If you guys don't think that that's beautiful candy red badassery, then I don't know what to tell you.